Good evening. Welcome to episode 11 of Classic Touring Car Racing Club TV. You know what that means. It's that time of year again. We're about to go racing again. What an absolute relief. As you know, as always, the good news is it's not just me. We got the big dog here as well. Evening, boss. What's happening? <laughs> How's it going? You had me enough? worried. Yeah. You had me worried. <laughs> I literally just run down my garden, and uh, yeah, there you are. I'm here. Uh, yeah, for for the rest of you, is that uh, I uh, I said, all right, meet you in, in the studio at quarter to eight, knowing that he'll be a bit late, but he got in at thirty seconds ahead of going live. <laughs> And you just do it just to <laughs> get me worried, mate, don't you? <laughs> I actually, you put you put my you put MFA on your Streamyard stuff, and I was like, I haven't got the code. So yeah, yeah. that was exciting. <laughs> all, all good fun. Do you like? I, 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 I've changed the background uh, with uh, you know a tweak on the sponsors, but I've done something a bit different with it. Do you like that in the background? Nice, isn't it? Yeah, you got a bit going in again. Getting flash in your old age. Well, you know, I'm I trying my bit. Stuff on there. That's all right, isn't it? Eh? Well, you know, they're, they're all there. They're all there when we got the full screen. So I'll uh, I'll jiggle yeah. them about next time and, and just make sure there's a bit of everything. Um, I've done How something a little bit. I've done something a little bit different this time of the way because you know when people comment on the group, the classic touring car group, rather than the page, yeah. it's sort of, they uh, they have to do a thing. So this time I haven't scheduled it to go there, but I've been in and shared it to that group. So hopefully people are going to see that and coming in. So welcome everybody. I can see you uh, coming in and watching. I knew this boy would be here. John yeah. Sandblaster Tyson. Evening, Dorothy Great, and Big Dog. We can rely on uh, evening, Tyson evening. to be in, can't we? <laughs> yeah, put down his blasting hose so he can watch us so yeah i well, appreciate that exactly so, yeah uh so you answered your question yet i'm good thank you mate getting ready for the start of the new season how are you feeling i'm all right Do you know it's um i'm in panic mode to be honest with you um because it's one of them ones where i've spent most of well all of the winter trying to um put it all together and actually thought i run colin tonight and i was like actually we've got a <laughs> I've got some own stuff. <laughs> so uh yeah, you know, it's um yeah, a bit behind, but we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Carl's already Colin spent all week sorting it all out. We tested it, we're okay, the club's on form. There's more cars than we know what to do with, um, which is a wonderful problem to have. Um, and it's all good. You know, I'm I'm just uh overwhelmed by it all. There you go, overwhelmed by it all. That's the uh, I like it. It's, that's uh, it's up, incredible up. the amount of cars and people still texting going, Can I get in? And it's like you sort of shut, you know, come on. Are you you're a commentator at the weekend, are you? Are, yes, are you I am, mate. It? I'm there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm there. I can't you are, wait, mate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. I'm heading up. Uh, sadly, I'm heading up to a funeral, my uncle's funeral tomorrow in the Midlands, but going straight from there to East Midlands to, to the hotel, ready for Friday, Saturday, get yourself yeah. in the zone uh, with, uh, with with Gary James, who knows the supercarts very, very well. So it'll be he and I, your commentary team for the weekend. Um, and yeah, we'll be giving it like I can't wait. I've downloaded all of the, the entry lists and everything. And I'm like, holy crap, we're in for a good weekend. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. You know, like you know, as you know, what happened last year, it just wasn't that wonderful start, and uh, this year was quite the opposite. Although I do, um, it's quite odd actually. The amount of cars that are piled in in the last two weeks, it was looking um, a bit quieter, and then out of nowhere, people are joining, and it's it's a lovely thing. Um, you know, obviously, we had to go and buy additional grid space. Uh, sadly, we couldn't get the uh, qualifying grid space, but so there is like a shared qualifying, and it's all a bit. It's all a bit all, all over the place, to be honest. But everyone, there's four grids out there. It just means people get the chance to stretch their legs a little bit um, uh, and have a decent race. But um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's nuts. <laughs> yeah. And it and it really is. I mean, that paddock's going to be a busy place because not just for you guys, in fairness, the minis and the uh, brick car, all of them have got, all of you have got big grids. So we've got our work cut out in the commentary box and what have you. And, and to be honest with you, that's the way we prefer it. Um, so, I mean, I just cannot wait. And it's not just the numbers, it's the quality of cars that you guys are bringing again, as always. Yeah. It's just epic, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, no, thank you. It's just... 
you know, I've got to mention the Thunder Grid. Um, that Jeez, yeah. Bonkers. He's absolutely, that'll be a crazy old race, that will. Um, well, yeah, because I see that in qualifying, you've got the Super Taurus qualifying with the Thunders, but of course, there's so many Thunders that you can't put them with them because. Oh, hang on. And what many like, thunders. Let me just check. Do you know what? I left this. I need to just check. Colin's fully shouting at the screen now. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the qualifying. Where? Oh, yeah, they are. Right. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that was what was agreed in the end. To be honest with you, I'd let Colin organise with uh, Andrew. Um, and that's what they come up with. Because you've got 83s out with 93 and 03. And it sort of gets swapped around a little bit. But it's weird. We've got like um, sort of uneven numbers. There's like 15, 10 and 15 cars. He's a bit bitty, shall we say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you've got 66. You know, they're out there. They've got, what, 34 cars now. Um, Thunder was at 40, 41, I think. But it keeps dropping it going in and out. There you go, 40 cars they've got there now. Um, obviously, Super Tour, um, Super Tours are running with them just in qualifying because obviously they've got um, in qualifying you can run 10% more than the race, and that's yes, how we got around that one. I think it's the best way to put it. So we uh, could only yeah. buy. We had, we, we had three grids and we wanted a fourth, but we could only buy two races worth rather than two races in the qualifying, which is why that's like that. Got you. Uh, it, I, I guess that was the case looking at it with the numbers. And it's just as long mm. as we got everybody out, that's the main thing. Comments are still coming in. Stu Waite, like his colour scheme this year. Evening, Jen says Stu. Looking to see if he can defend that championship. <laughs> Uh, Tom Davies, evening. Hiya, Tom. Welcome back, mate. James Ibbotson, evening, chaps. I haven't looked, but I'd imagine James is going to be out there. And Chris Patton says, looking forward to entering next year with the 66ers. So there you go. You've already got people getting ready for next year as well, which is a, is a great yeah. thing. Uh, Craig Owen, evening, mate. Evening, yeah. chaps and chapesses. Are you the chapes? I don't know. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what what day of the week is it? I can't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, the the Owens have got a few cars out this weekend, and that's going to be wicked to see Bluey and the uh, uh, the uh, Mondeo as well. Yeah, and you you're out with your um, the Cavalier as well, aren't you? No, the suspension was not ready. So oh it's no, found out yesterday. So that was the end of that, sadly. Oh, so we're out in three anyway. I was taking two cars up there. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm going to go out and take the car out in uh, pre 83 and then just do a second race in uh, Blue Oval Saloons just to get my uh, foot in a little bit, to be honest with you, because I've just not, I've not actually raced a car since Croft last year. Blimey. Uh, okay. That's about the middle August. of the season. So we did a little it? test. Yeah, we did a little test uh, down at Lydon a few weeks ago. Go, which is really good just keep going round and round and round until i got sick of it um and uh but yeah so i just want to get i just want to get and it's weird it's, uh, it's uh, donnington i've only ever finished two races at donnington um they were at uh and that was 10 years ago it was my first race meeting 10 years ago since i started the season wow. and since then i've managed to blow it up and all the other bits and bobs never actually finished so it's going to be quite interesting and it's going to rain i believe friday by the looks of it yeah i think it's a bit questionable isn't it and i get the impression yeah friday mm. uh is less nice than, than saturday um i think that's what i was seeing so it, it, it's fine it's fine it, 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 i don't think it's due to be horrific though is it uh, last i looked it keeps changing though no it's going to rain a bit in it yeah, that's fine. And there's that right. myth, the, the myth about the aviation fuel and the rain mixing is, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll probably throw that one in a little bit. So. <laughs> it's not true, apparently. <laughs> uh, Craig yeah, Owen says, not... go on. sorry, mate, go on. No, you go on. All right, no, I was going to say, yeah, just looking forward to it. Just want to get out there now and be excited. It's, uh... I've missed the first race of the season in the last couple of years due to COVID um oh, yeah. one way or another um so yeah we'll be uh yeah i'm really looking forward to it. i just want to get up you know get there tomorrow night get to the hotel and get settled and stuff i've got to work all day tomorrow so it's going to be a late one for me yeah 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 i can imagine well it'll be... what can go wrong you got me commentating on you as well mate <laughs> 
Last time he commentated on me, I was sitting in a deck chair drinking beer. <laughs> and I, yeah, I still oh, commentated and left, on and you. you left, and you left in your private vehicle with blue lights on I the did. road. <laughs> I did. I got the quick track. Uh, yeah, no hanging about. No one was allowed to, to, to go through the green lights. I was allowed to go through reds. Yeah, I was fine. <laughs> make you tax money somewhere, haven't you? So. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Uh, Craig Owen says he's not been in bluey, so that's the wonderful uh, Sierra Cosworth. Um, since Superpower live uh super touring power live last year although i did do 16 laps in the mondeo at snetterton last week i did see that as well that was pretty cool yeah i saw that as well it sounds awesome doesn't it it does i mean i've just loved that car that was the first time i ever met met aj was was way back when when they were um sort of getting that thing running up at alton park it was uh and i'd say we've been friends ever since which is cool so it's great that we're going to see both those i haven't seen the mondeo out so it'll be my first time seeing that one uh out racing so i'm looking forward to that um in terms of i think the first one that we'll very quickly do let me do a share screen and we've got um excuse me uh what am i looking for uh, you're looking down the gin again oh uh, well i've got gin but i haven't been woofing it down yet <laughs> So, uh, just quickly, for those that have missed it, we're on to V4 of the timetable. So, make sure you go to the, uh, the BARC website and get the documents. But you'll see that we uh, we get going at 9.05 in the morning for the pre-66 qualifying. So, get yourself ready for that one. Uh, 10 o'clock, pre-83, pre-93, pre-03 and both. Let me make sure it's uh, big enough to be able to see, actually, so that we... Uh, can see it. Then you got a bit of a gap. The Thunders and the Super Tourers are qualifying together at quarter past 11, but not racing together. And then we have one race before lunch, and that's the first of the pre-66s at 12.45. Two races later after lunch, we've got the pre-83s, the pre-93s, and the Super Tourers racing together. Bit of a gap with the uh, endurance race in between. And then at quarter past five, the Thunders. And then you get to tuck yourself up or party, whichever you uh, choose to do for the for the uh, Friday night. Into Saturday, we've just got a qualifying before the uh, pre 03s and boss. So 9.45, the first race there. Pre-66 is their second and final race at 10.50. Pre-83s, not pre-93s and Super Tour is at 11.55. Then after lunch, 3.25, the Thunders. And 3.55, the pre 03 and boss series uh races so that's the timetable nicely sort of spread out to keep the the classic touring car entertainment going throughout the day isn't it yeah it's not too bad you know uh mark turner and uh, and john at uh at bark haven't done too bad on this one they tried to keep it you know obviously brick car races are quite long so they tried to sort of spread it all out and do the best for everybody you know they've got to look after the minis the brick car you've got to look after all of us really we all put we all might we all do the same moan that we want the best times but they've they've been very good and uh we appreciate that um and of course we got the supercars there as well have you uh, been on the bill with them before i'd imagine you probably have haven't you years ago yeah they used to run they used to run with bark all the time but i think now they just buy a track time off from i'm not yeah. really sure to be honest what they deal with yeah um, but yeah, these speed was quite a lot. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy, aren't they? They are. <laughs> just, they are bonkers. There's, a, there's yeah. A, some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're they're yeah, a different yeah. gravy. That lot, aren't they? Definitely a different gravy. Very very <laughs> They are absolutely. Adam Woods says, "Gutted, I couldn't make this weekend due to my daughter's birthday weekend, but I've managed to convince the better half to pop up for a couple of hours." on friday i assume that's with you adam <laughs> not that she's going on her own uh looking forward to seeing you all so uh, great adam we'll see you there in uh, in one guys or another um and, and i wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be a reasonable crowd at this one because it's you know this that's sort of like get the season going and with everything that's on this bill and you've got to say all of it all of your races but then to have you know the classic minis everyone loves those the supercars that are bonkers and then some of the cars in a brick car are some pretty amazing kit and some good and mega drivers the, in it yeah um, the, some of the supercars i mean to be honest they're all mega i mean i like i'll sit and watch it i'll any kind of racing but I, I did think there will be um be a decent turnout here mm. there's also which is something that no one has actually mentioned which is an interesting one is nick halstead yep the flying car driver is announced is announcing his livery so he's got 
he's he's going to announce his livery at uh, I think it's eleven o'clock, isn't it? Have you got it in your sheet somewhere? Eleven o'clock. It's either Saturday I, or Sunday, Friday or Saturday. I don't have that part. I know that he's racing in either the endurance or the trophy as a sort of like a pro driver with someone, isn't he? And, is he? and so is that's that what he's doing? Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. So he's got a bit of paddock space and he does these, um, are they called ra- razor carts or something? What is that? That, that sponsor him. And he's managed to get along some touring car drivers to uh, to have a go. Uh, Andrew Jordan, I know, I think Andy's dad are both racing in the Mini Miglias, aren't they? Correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's got... Um, Matey along there as well. Who's the guy that did our speech? I forgot his name now. Oh, O'Neill. Yeah. He's got O'Neill along as well. So there will be some, there's stuff for everybody to see, you know, stuff going on, which makes it, just makes it a little bit more than just uh, us lot shuffling about. But um, <laughs> for me, for me, the focus is on the racing. You know, that's what we, that's why we do it. And that's why, uh, it's why I fell in love with it in the first place. So, yeah, I can't wait. I just want to get there and, get going when the wait for them lights to go out and then that's the end of that isn't it do you, do you ever feel because i know there's been race race meetings where you've not been out in the car does this kind of feel a bit different going to this weekend because you've got that i mean and i don't know i'm asking you this because obviously i'm not a racer nerves and or excitement about the fact that you're going to be out on track as well yeah no i'm really excited to be honest with you it's um it's which is where i'm bouncing around this chair what to sort of go and get going but um for me, you know, there's, there's two sides to me, obviously. You know, I've got I have my club head on and the, the reason I race cars is why I do it, you know. So now, once race entries close, that's kind of it for us as a club, all the committee, it's not just me, obviously, so many people behind us doing all the work. And now that's kind of done. We've handed it over to Bark. It's now Bark's problem, if you like, or Bark on running it. And now we can worry about the cars and worry about the racing. And actually, you sort of sit down and go, "Well, let's go racing." Yeah. So, no, I, I, and I can I, imagine yeah. that. Yeah, and it is. It's a butterflies, and you kind of want to get there. You know, people will be getting there. I don't know what time they're open. Do you know what? I was trying to find it in the finals. Actually, what time they're letting people in tomorrow? It's normally six o'clock because it's testing tomorrow. Although it's all of us lot testing, right. but normally at Donington, I was. They're quite firm with you, aren't they? If I remember rightly, I couldn't find anything in the finals of when we actually get the circuit. I don't actually uh, just okay. read them on the train, so I do apologise um, whilst I'm doing stuff on the fly here. Um, but you know, people want to be getting up there. You know, I'm <laughs> a bit of super tour of power going to uh, to Brands Hatch. So I normally I went up there on the Thursday night after work because I only live about 15 minutes away. To drop the motorhome off and set up and everything and the paddock was packed <laughs> and it was like nothing is like, it's still two days <laughs> so um yeah it's it's uh people will be getting you know people will be off work tomorrow and i suppose obviously with easter as well it makes it a five-day weekend as well so yeah true a lot, a lot, you, it. You know, you spend a week you spend a winter looking forward to it right you spend a week you know getting yourselves ready getting the cars your families and just it's like Christmas Eve, isn't it, for us? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel, you know, that's, that's, that's how I feel. And, 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 you know, in all honesty, it's it's kind of the similar thing for me because, yeah, it's busy. I'm Thursday, uh, sorry, Friday, Saturday at, at Donington. I get Sunday off with the girls and then Monday I'm back on the mic at Coombe as well. So three out of four days I'm commentating and, and it's the start of the season for me. I was kind of, I was at an action day at Coombe last weekend, but it's not the same as, as commentating on the races. So I've got that excitement to get the season going from my perspective as well yeah, with yeah. that nervousness. And you must have this as well where you kind of go, have I forgotten how to do it? <laughs> you know what? Literally, one of the reasons I was late, I was literally like upstairs. I've got my um, plug in my GoPro in because if mine doesn't work, then I've got no excuse if other people's doesn't. But um, <laughs> so I was like charging. No, it's all the bits and bobs. I was trying to find my club T-shirt, which is why I've only got this on. But um, yeah, just yeah, there's loads of bits. You, you know, it's one of them ones when you're halfway up the M1 on uh, tomorrow night and you remember that you've left your license at home. <laughs> but um yeah it's loads to remember and i'm sure i would have forgot loads of things but at the end of the day I'm, we'll, we'll be okay we'll so, be okay we'll, we'll, we'll get there right. in the end jamie peter zenner says thoroughly looking forward to this weekend the thunder entry looks absolutely insane it's so great to see a variety from the classic touring car racing uh, club as usual i'll be there with team brit but we'll pop down to the paddock for a catch-up 
And thank you, Jamie. I know you've messaged me privately as well. I haven't ignored you, but now you know why I haven't replied because I'm on this show. So <laughs> that was all it was. Um, in terms of that entry list, uh, well, actually... Uh, Madness, isn't it? It, it, it is, but do you, yeah, we'll go through that one first. Let me just make sure that we're doing it in the right order. So let me just do share screen on this. Um, You're getting technical now, aren't you, Chris? I, I am, uh, hence you can uh, sense the, the the pause as well. So <laughs> let me share to share the other screen, uh, put it up there. So we've got the, uh, the entry list. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll even put it up to full for a second because um, I've had to sort of uh, zoom out as much as I possibly can because you've got so much information. They do a great job with this, give us absolutely loads. So yeah. the pre-66s, I haven't added up. At, oh, that's the number there, isn't it? 33 of them. That's it, yeah. Yeah, so 33 cars. Uh, a few that are doing uh, sharing by the looks of it. So we've got the number 21, John Davies and Mike Davies sharing between the two races. Uh, the 26 the Austin A40 of Steve Evans and, and Brian uh, Bedford mm. uh, are being shared. But it's just, I mean, that is like a bumper grid from everything from the big Mustangs and Falcons, uh, Jaguar Mark II, uh, Triumph Vitesse, down to the uh, incredibly nippy uh, Minis and, and Austin Coopers and the Hillman Imps. I just adore those. And, of course, a clutch. Is that the, is that the plural for uh, Lotus Cortinas? A clutch, should we go with that? <laughs> go with that, yeah, it's all right. You go with that, yeah. I like it. So, we've got a whole load of those. Anyone that particularly stands out from you on this, uh, on, on the pre 66 entry list, yeah. I mean, uh, for me, you know, it, uh, my friend James there who's uh, who's watching, he'll be doing a rain dance because last time he was at uh. at Donington in the wet, he broke the internet with his drifting. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this, you know, problem is, he's like at this time. It, in the first race, it's anyone's guess, right? People have spent money. They've, you know, who knows what people have done over the winter to get their cars there. Um, obviously, um, it's just, you just, you know, Alan Greenhall with a big Falcon guy, Con, you, you know, there's just so many to choose from. You know, I should add that this is only a selection of the cars that are registered for the championship. There's something like 75 cars registered for pre 66 this year. Um, okay. It's a massive, um, and um, and long may it last. You know, there's a lot of people who work very hard. You know, Paul Cooper, um, and also the people within pre sixty six cheering each other on, and uh, and there's a lot of camaraderie within them guys. Um, and this is this is the the reward they've got. It's just this mega grid. Um, it is. So yeah, including the champs back, isn't he? Billy Keneally, who won it. Billy um, Keneally. You know, you've got to put you've got to put decent money on Billy. Um, in fact. Ed or um, uh, Pat, you know, in his Lotus, you know, he's, he's due a win. Yeah. You know, there's lots of people out there and it's just anyone's business, anyone's guess, really, that you just can't take anything away. The Swans, you know, both there all over each other, you know, just, it, it's just, it will be a great race to watch. Um, and um, obviously they've got a new sponsor this year with uh, Everard, uh, James Everard, yeah. uh, step forward and... Um, offered up some sponsorship this year and uh, we appreciate that. So you've got the cars with all new stickers on uh, and uh, yeah, and it, it will look amazing. Know, just above me, look, I even got that chain so that Everard's logo that. is there in you're the amazing. background. Eh? All over it. On you're it like so a terrible. car bonnet, mate. <laughs> it's not Bill Gates. Like, it's like the work of Bill Gates, honestly. It's incredible. Yeah, well, I, the difference being is I hide the, the, my money rather than him flaunting it, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, if no only, that's the best place um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking that you guys obviously finished the uh, the season on the Donington GP circuit, and you know, I'm looking at each of the classes in the 66, and it really was mixed up who got the wins yeah. and everything, wasn't it? In each class, it was shared, no one dominated, yes. no, and all through the year, it was uh, chopping and changing, you know, you've got to. You know, we don't have any drop rounds with the scores. You really need to attend all meetings. Um, and as as I said before, I think with Croft, you know, Croft kind of, um, I say, was um, it, it, they were they were, the points that were issued there. 
you know the grids were not as busy as other meetings and i do think a lot of those meet that meeting changed a lot of the championship um and for all of them you know thunder uh boss 83 etc um and so i we'll, we'll see i'm not sure i'm not sure how we're gonna go well uh I love the fact that I've just highlighted there Kevin Swan. Kevin Swan himself jumps in and says, it's going to be fun. I think that sums it up rather well, doesn't it? He got third in uh, Class C uh, last season, so he'll be looking to try and go higher. So good luck, Kevin. Uh, And, yeah, enjoy it, mate. I mean, that just looks like a bumper pre-66 grid for sure. Uh, But also, remember remember the way... Sorry, I was going to say, remember the way that we score everything is we score it on a class basis. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you, if you don't, you don't necessarily need to win the race, you can win your class and still win the championship. Exactly. Critical of us, whereas maybe some other clubs, you don't get that. No, it is a key thing. Score your points in the class and then we get the champions at the end. The overall was the class C car of Billy Khalili uh, mm. and Michael Loveland in class E came runner up with 91. Uh, no, sorry, didn't. Uh, Barry Simon was runner up with 114 and yeah. then Michael Loveland by the looks of it on 91. But it was so close behind that with class D cars nearly in the mix and all sorts. So it was uh, yeah, yeah, rather close to say the least. Uh, Pre-83s. Uh, 15 cars on the grid, uh, obviously including some, uh, you know, interloper there in his Ford Capri, uh, Mr. K. (laughs) And I don't (laughs) think I've seen you actually race that yet. Oh, you will. Don't you worry about that one. I'm looking forward (laughs) to it, mate. I really am. I'm looking forward to it. It's only two years. But yeah, no, it's been a while on a few family matters, obviously, you know, uh obstructed my race in the last couple of years so we're uh we're having a full uh full onslaught this year i want to the car's amazing you know connie's done a fantastic job of uh rebuilding it after i wreck it or moan about it um and uh i sort of owe it to him and everybody else to uh give it a good go once and for all yeah, no, and, and and I look forward to that. The champ, obviously, there in the number one, Stephen Primmett, that uh, rather well-known Ford Escort Mark One. He's going to be looking to to give it full beans. He won the championship, but second and third were split by one point in the end between Don yeah. Hughes uh, and Jonathan Corker. Have we got those guys? So no, Don Hughes, but Jonathan Corker is out, and his wonderful dad. No, so Don's. Don's uh, part with golf up this year, actually. He's going to focus on the 306, which was playing him up. Um, and so he had to withdraw. I'd spoke to him last week. Uh, I know he was trying to get the car fixed to get back in, um, but sadly that wasn't the case. Oh, well, that's him. a shame. One yeah. of the tallest racing drivers you'll meet. <laughs> He's a lovely guy. I remember him in the Peugeot 306. Um, Chris Collier asked the question, and we'll come on to this in a minute. Are we expecting any more Super Tours, or is eight the maximum for the weekend going to be a great day out? And AJ saying seven, I think it is. Because yeah, because our mind's not there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's fine. But, you know, it's in amongst other things, and it'll be thoroughly entertaining. Um, yeah, I mean, a good old mix. I, I love the fact we've got Nick Williamson out in a Rover SD1. Yeah, it's mega, isn't it? I'm looking forward to having a, a bit of a, a race for that. I have no idea why I'm so obsessed with Rover SD ones. I think it's one of those ones, an early car I saw with my dad as a very youngster watching and going, "How is that on a race circuit?" Yeah, it's one of the cars. Yeah, that doesn't look like quite like a race car, but they, they're great. <laughs> you know? They are. They are great. As long as their their uh, clutches or brakes don't explode with the, the weight on those blooming cars, then uh, then we're okay. But uh, right, yeah. that'll be fun. A few escorts, Golf GTI, Triumph Dolomite. I love those Triumph Dolomite sprints. BMW E30 of Will Davison. Good to see him back out again. The RS2000 uh, of Chorlton, the Datsun we've talked about, and a Morris Minor of Eddie Croker as uh, as well to see out there. So a great grid of the pre-83s. The the pre 93s Jaguar XJS of Michael Seaborn. Good to see that one out. A number of BMWs, the champ uh, Stuart Waite, we heard from him earlier, and he's hoping it'll be out. Graham Myers, uh, Jonathan Olive Cooper, and Sean Morris in there. BMWs, Ian Bauer, Terry Davis, and Kevin Will, uh, Willis in theirs. The VW Corrado of Brian uh, Byron Aldous as well. I love the Corrados. 
It's great. Honor, I mean, great it, it, it is. I mean, they're so, all great to be honest with you, but it's nice to see. Uh, it's nice to see something a bit different as well out racing around. A uh, question that's come in, and that's uh, AJ's actually jumped back up to this one up here with the Rovers SD1. He said, is that Nick Williams who used to do Euro saloons? I don't no know idea. is the answer. No idea. You can go and ask him and then you can let me know, AJ, if that is the case. But I do remember those Euro saloons. They were brilliant. Uh, pre -o oh, I've gone too far. It's jumped a page. Pre-03, we got eight cars of those. Mike Nash and his BMW, Simon Mann, the coordinator, am I right in saying, for that right, yeah. series? Yeah. Uh, John Hillier in the touring version of the E36. Andy Abrams, good to see him out. He's uh, he's probably doing those two days and then coming to watch at Coombe on Monday. Anton Martin, isn't that the, the, the driver that's normally in the Escort? That's right, yeah, yeah. He had a problem with the Escort, um, so he's bought his BMW along. Brilliant. Okay, so that's good to see. Um, uh, Neil Ashcroft in the Honda Civic, Vic Hope, and of course, Gary Preble out in his Honda Civic EG. So that'll be hotly contested between uh, the Class A and Class C cars for that one, to be fair. Yep. Uh, right. The Blue Oval Saloons. I just love these, uh, the, the uh, blue ovals. Colin Claxton in the Escort, the Mark 6S uh, Fiesta of Ollie Allen, Tim Mizzen out in the Fiesta, Will Hunt, Michael Rudge. There's a whole load of Fiestas. Robert Taylor, Jason Rudge. Uh, car being shared by Tom Bell and Joe Ferguson in that 341. Sam Daffin, good to see he's back out again. Let's hope he uses a few less engines this year, eh? Yeah, I think he'd had enough of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, just I know he had enough of that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we reminded him again at, with an award at the awards night. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Craig Owen, we heard from Craig earlier. He's out in Bluey, that wonderful uh, Sierra Cosworth, the RS500 of Joey Binks, Martin Reynolds, and Piers Grange in their escorts, and the Mark II Zach Speed X escort of Malcolm Harding out as well, which is good to see. Um, so, again, some, some absolutely beautiful and some monster power going out there as well in these cars. Yeah, some nice cars out there. You know, the the, uh, the Blue Oval Saloons, you know, we we uh, we sort of run full engines in full cars. So it's nice that, that there's so many out there. And I think, again, you know, if it rains, you know, you don't want to be out in an RS500 if it's raining. It's going to be <laughs> yeah. you know, a new pair of underpants after that. So, you know, I think it could be anyone. The way the, 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 way the weather's looking is, uh, uh, I think anything can happen this weekend, to be honest with you. Agreed. I agree totally. They probably will. Then, uh, of course, we've got the Super Tourers that are out. And as we say, the one that we know is missing is sadly Stuart Kay, that Vauxhall, Vauxhall Cavalier with the uh, suspension issues. But we've got Jason Hughes out in the Vectra. And if you're telling me that Paul O'Neill's going to be in the paddock with this unveiling thing, those two will be at each other again, winding each other yeah. up, won't they? Yeah. Uh, so that's him in the Vectra, the Richard Wheeler Primera, Integra, Integra, Integra Type Bar of Danny Harrison, Paul White in the Accord, AJ we know out in that Ford Mondeo, Colin Souter in the Peugeot uh, 406, and the Astra of Alex Morgan. That's got a to be arranged, but is that just the number or whether he's even in? The number, yeah, he's there, he's all booked and paid. It's just a number. I think cool. he's actually number. I can't remember now. <laughs> you over it, you overstretched yourself there, then didn't you? I oh, did. I think it was number 17, actually. I think I got it on my phone and I thought, actually, that's boring. I won't talk about it. And then it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you you went. With, I forced you to go with it anyway. Now yeah, right. look at this. I mean, this. I mean, you must be ecstatic to see this. The the the, the super Torres are just epic, and of course, that's the. I, I always forget this. The classic thunders and the the thunders. Yeah. So we done it. We tried to do. Uh, so as the conversation we was having last year was that. You've, you've got the Thunder Saloons, uh, but was also putting off people that had historic Thunder Saloons yeah. um, that are, you know, crazy cars, but were just, you know, against the modern cars, they weren't going to, you know, there's always a disparity between the, the old and the new stuff. Well, I say new, I mean, they're all pre-2011, but, you know, I still think it's, um, it's uh, <laughs> you know, that, that was only a few years ago, and I look, and it was just a thing. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so we've, we've Colin 
uh, wanting to split that out more. Um, and I agreed to try and give people a bit more of a chance. Um, Martin Reynolds managed to get Poltec behind it. Um, and so they're sponsoring that championship. Oh, well, um, we put them all out together at the moment. Um, conversation I had today with Nick Vaughan actually was at Cadwell. You know, we're at Cadwell in four weeks' time, and it's not a 42 car grid at Cadwell. I think Max grid's about 32, if, and even oh, then wow. you're quite you're up around Barn, aren't you? Yeah. You start you start downhill if you're in the the have extended the grid after COVID. It's, they've actually got <laughs> more capacity there. <laughs> Madness. But anyway. Um, so yeah, like credit to Nick and credit to everybody involved who's been involved over the years as well. I should add, you know, it's not just uh, it's kind of we're all sort of basking in glory, but it's been burning for a long time, and lots of people that have supported that over the years, and um, it's amazing, and it'll be an amazing race to watch. I just I've just got to shut my eyes when it go. I'll go for the first corner. But anyway, <laughs> I I agree. I mean, you look at the power. We've got Andy Robinson, Andy Wilson in the Falcon, and uh, uh, Holden Monaro at the front. Those big thunder, uh, definitely thunders. Those guys. Clive Hainsford's also a Class A, which feels a bit harsh considering they're seven liter and his is just under two liter. But that RX8 is an absolute pocket rocket, to be honest. Have you seen the size in the turbos? The size of my head, I think, that's on that thing. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and Clive can, Clive can pedal a car as well, and he's done it for many yeah. years. So he'll be it's up nice. there. Uh, he'll be chasing, and he's just, you look down, you've got Josh, Brian. It's, it's probably 10 or 15 cars in there that could win that race. You know, you've got to have your money on the two Andys being very close, or if not, at the front. But you've got a whole pack of people chasing them yeah. for 15 minutes. Maybe quite, uh, quite uh, I, I, just, I don't really know what to say because you're just like, oh, you know, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, quite overwhelming. It is because those BMWs, the whole mass of BMWs in it, and they're super powerful. And we know Brian Bransom, powerful car and a quick peddler. Jazz Sapper, of course, the two of them are always together. Um, Kevin Clark, of course, who does Kevin's stuff with them. Well. And he's, yeah, he's out in that lovely M3 CSL, so that'll be good to see as well. Uh, mm. Jamie Thwaite out there in his, you know, just just picking out some of the names, nothing nothing special. Jimmy Broadbent, that's interesting, out in a Mazda MX-5. Mm. He's got he's got his MX-5 now. When you see it, it's a Thunder Saloon MX-5. Is it? I, uh, yeah, I was having a conversation with Andy Wilson about this after our last podcast. I was like, oh, is it just like a little sports car? I was like, it's not like a little sports car. <laughs> Trust me. Um, but it's cool. You know, um, it's cool and it's good to have him out and supporting the club, actually. Um, yeah. You know, he's got, he's, as you know, very big on the socials. So, um, hopefully we don't scare him off. <laughs> the first lap at Thunder Saloons. But um, some of the other stuff that's out there, you know, right the way down, with Simon Light, you know, Nigel Baker and his work of art, Mark Monesco, Colin Boyce's cart. Colin Boyce's cart, he's quite capable of... So, I mean, that thing is unbelievable how fast it is. It's yeah. unbelievable. Um, you know, Malcolm Harding, Martin Reynolds, it just, I just can't call it. It's just going to be well, very interesting 15 minutes. Simon Light in that Ford Capri as well. That thing is an absolute beast the monster it's an absolute monster like joe collier i know that because joe was the chap that uh we remember him who was on fire at brands hatch in the silhouette he's the chap that was in that car and now he's moved on to a, an m3 and he's been testing that car because i follow him on social media and he's been out and about in that all winter so wow will be something uh something special and obviously let's not forget nick vaughn who is the current champion, and it, by looks of it, has wound the turbo up even more. So, God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, be very fruity, as uh, as they say. Yeah, so he's out there in that Audi A3 up there, car number 66. Uh, I mean, the, the Rudges, they, they race well in those Fiestas as well. They Don't do, underestimate they really them. Do. Yeah. I, I mean, AJ's put a great comment that I think sums it up as he says, uh, I think you're doing well if you're in the top 15 in Thunder this year. I agree. I agree. That is a key point. I mean, that is just going to look and sound epic. If you've never watched the classic Thunders, A, where have you been? But B, get ready for the noise. It is just phenomenal. The the, the, the sound 
uh, is, is where it gets its name from. And you can see from these classes, so you've got the CT, a classic thunders, and then you've got these ones down here, the historic thunders, uh, just so you understand that one. And, you know, as we explained earlier, you score points in your classes, but that doesn't stop them racing between the classes. It's just going to be... No, it doesn't, no incredible i mean we're going to be bounced out of the commentary box i think as they come down the start finish straight <laughs> just i can't wait for that it's going to be amazing um so that's your that's your grid by the way just quickly to say uh, medic mason evening chris says evening dorsey and all uh and uh, jamie peter zenis says if it's the same mx5 that jimmy used in the time attack it's got over 600 brake horsepower yeah as yeah you're right <laughs> in a very heavy big car oh wait no yeah, it's, big not. Old car, <laughs> big old car. it's gonna be a, a, an interesting one there so absolutely wicked uh entry list there um that is going to be so much fun to see uh sophie owen says aj don't tell me uh tell neil that and that's about the uh, in, in, in the top 15 you're doing well. So we've got that into rivalry going now. Um, you mentioned finals. Is there anything in particular that you want to pick up in the finals to make sure people are aware of? Uh, no, not too much. Obviously, please make sure that you go to the driver's briefings. If you don't, you get your fine. Um, just having a quick look now. Just one second. I did have that up on that page, but I went down too far. Yeah, look, make sure you know where you are with your, uh, please, if you can make sure your driver's briefing. 366, got to be there at 8 o'clock. 83, 93, Boss, Super Taurus, 9 o'clock. Thunder, 03, 10 o'clock. So there you go. Scrutineering's in the scrutineering bay. And if anyone can find when the you actually get in the circuit, then you're a better <laughs> man than I am. That was it, obviously. I sent out in the hot news as well um, around stickers. So there'll be a sticker box in Scrutineering. Um, okay. If you haven't got your stickers, you'll get handed some stickers. If you don't put them on your car and you don't want them on your car, you'll be marked down as um, a, uh, the correct term is non-compliance, which means you will not be eligible for points. But it takes that all away from people noticing that other people haven't got stickers etc etc that it will be handed to you by scrutineers not by colin or me or whoever's in the scrutiny bay from the committee um and it just puts it in the hands of the of matt and the, the guys that uh scrutiny the cars it is part of the requirement to race in their championship to carry stickers i thought it seems quite heavy-handed but we've we've tried different things over the last three or four years and they've not really worked and have caused problems to people and it's not it's not really fair um so we found the fairest way to do it is actually say all right screw it is he's got no stickers put the stickers on the car if you don't want to put them on the car we'll put you on the list and just make you aware that you're on a list say right chris you ain't got stickers fine no points off you go and there you are you're aware of the situation and you're aware of, of what what's going on and it um, is important, and again, in case people, because I know we talked about it last uh, last year, didn't we, is the fact mm -hmm. that, you know, these sponsors are, you know, giving a good amount of support there, and if the support isn't reciprocated, then it's like, fine, then yeah, you're not the part thing, of the championship. Like, yeah, the people's businesses, right? You know, the people yeah. that are involved, like Everard, you know, James, James Everard races in uh, pre sixty sixes Alfa Romeo. Um, everyone, all the sponsors, one way or another, are connected to the club. You know, the two, Edmondson and uh, Poltec, Martin Reynolds helps out with massively that you brought them into the club and we appreciate that. Um, but, you know, you're still asking someone for money, right? You're still saying, can I, can you give us some money? So and I'll put a sticker on my car and I'll make sure, you know, it's one of us from the committee or whoever, right? It's not just, you know, Colin, Adam, everybody. Um, and say well you know what can you give us some money we'll we'll make sure these guys have got stickers on their cars and if people can't be bothered to put the stickers on the cars i see that as a personal insult and i do stand there and i think well do you know what i'll just arrange this meeting for you how about i don't do it you know if you can't be bothered yeah, to do yeah, it yeah, then yeah. I just, and i see it i see people not put stickers and they go oh, i don't want to put them on i think well don't do it then don't race it i don't want you in now i really yeah. feel so strongly about it it really really upsets me Yep, because we need to encourage the sponsors to be getting involved, not just, you know, it, it shows for even the future years. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. You know, it's not pleasant asking someone for money, right? Let's be honest. <laughs> it's not like saying, right, Chris, you know what? Could visual PR give us 50 quid and we'll all wear a sticker on our jumper? You know, you're trying to promote your business. And if I turn up with a jumper on it and got visual PR written on it, you know, well, why is that? What have I paid for? Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, yeah. It is what, exactly. what have I paid for. Some of the, you know, I won't say now, but some of the sponsors, they see the photographs and stuff. You know, always post the pictures on a Monday, Steve Jackman, and everybody's posting pictures of cars sideways and on fire and uh, whatever. <laughs> and they go, where's the stickers? And then I, I'm like sitting there at work, working away, and I'll get a text message go, where's the stickers, Joe? I'm like, anyway, so no, I've said enough on that subject. Um, there'll be I a agree. Day, Friday morning, fill your beach. No, oh, I like it. Make it as easy as possible. Uh, AJ says, can we also order some sun? We're trying, mate. We're trying our best. Mm -hmm. And uh, JPE says, uh, access to the paddock, paddock will be from 1800 on Thursday, unless obviously you're testing, which means you'd already be in there. But if you're not there testing... You go, look, Jamie just texted me as well. He's all over it tonight, isn't he? He's he is. a legend. Yeah, thank you for that, you uh, JPE. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Uh, anything else on the finals that was important to, to draw attention to? No, I just want everyone to be there and be safe and have fun and enjoy it. Well, on that front, what about new drivers briefing? There's a document, I think. Is excuse me. Oh, you just throw that curveball at me right now. It was your curveball that one, mate. Was it? Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new drivers briefing. Where is new drivers briefing? We'll start as part of the championship briefings. Detailed. The clock will be available from eight thirty at the race admin. At race admin, I guess you've got to go up to the office, right? That's what uh, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Yeah, so if you're a new driver, please report to race admin for 830. And that's it not in the commentary group. box. The amount of people that come up into our commentary boxes going, is this race admin? No, that's down a floor. <laughs> not through the door <laughs> that says commentators only. <laughs> Whilst you're sitting there woofing down your espresso. <laughs> well, exactly. Espresso <laughs> martini. <laughs> oh, you're if only. If only. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Kevin no, Swan uh, says uh, says scrutineering available one till five on Thursday. So he, absolutely, if you, I'd imagine that's the people that are in there already for testing. But scrutineering is available yeah. if you're in there between those time. But if uh, you know, I always find that a bit sketchy, if I'm honest, because the guys that are just wandering around, the guys are going to be there and they're going to wander around and sort of help where they can. But yeah. the all grid, so there's, there'll be like someone in the scrutineering bay between that time. I don't, I don't know who it will be. Uh, someone well, I, I don't know what the driver's what? briefing the second time, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what happens with driver's briefings if a second one you need to attend conflicts with the quali session, i.e., the thunder briefing and pre 93 qualifying? It's a good point, actually. And I'll ask Andrew about that after this because I'm not entirely sure, okay. Uh, -huh. and I'm, I'm well, assuming it's make, make the clerk because Andrew is obviously our clerk, and when you go to the first one, just make him aware. Because it's ultimately him that's going to tell you off if you don't go to the second one. So you just say, look, I can't do it. I've got to qualify. Well, AJ said, wasn't an issue last year. He says you only need to go to one. Well, it depends on the different start procedures for each for each race. That's that's what happens with that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did notice that from the, the yeah. finals. Because obviously I end up grabbing that. The start proceeding... The following championships of classes have a rolling start: the Thunders and the pre-83, 93, and and Super Tourers uh, have rolling starts, whereas the pre-66, pre-03, and Boss have standing starts. Oh, Sonia's just texted me as well. She said you only have to attend one of them. I always thought it was two if you had two different starts, but apparently AJ's right; it is only one. There, there we go. go. That's the important thing. We got the answer out there, mate. I didn't let you read that one first, though, did I? As we said, we were going to let you do this time. <laughs> no, it's right. no, I just, I don't know because I just, I just, you know what, I float about, you know, what I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that as in like float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Muhammad Ali of of the paddock. I've got you. Um, so that takes care of the new drivers' briefing doc whatever that was in your note that you said to me um any other business we've already covered decals that was one thing that i was talking uh, i put in my notes anything happening saturday night or is it sort of like everybody just intermingling well you invited me out or something <laughs> what jeez you know there's lots of people watching this one right? yeah but, i know Shit. Um, <laughs> no i don't know you know what i have no idea I, I have no idea at all last year i think the um the bar finished up at about 10 o'clock didn't it 
because they're yeah, all probably. grumpy about it. But I don't know. Which, is, which has got a new uh, Indy car in it this year as well, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, I saw that actually on uh, Instagram. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? But yeah, yes. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happened on Saturday night. There's no barbecues or anything. Um, as the year goes on, we're going to try and do uh, something. I'm not entirely sure of what. But it's just too cold and wet to to uh, people just sure. want to get away to hotels or sit in their vans and play cards and drink scotch or whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a bit a bit cold for the first one. So, well, but you know, as time goes on, you know, certainly Cabwell, Mallory, whatever, and Super Tourist will uh, will try and get some stuff going. I know there's a big party at Super Tourist, which will be announced in the coming weeks. Ooh, I'll have to bear that in mind because I don't know whether I booked a hotel for that weekend yet. So I need to make sure I'm I would close enough you. to enjoy. Yeah, well, I yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't remember whether I, I might have done, you know, I'll try to get organized. Uh, AJ says, if you tell the clerk in the first briefing that you're in another race, he just takes a note, did it at Snetterton mm-hmm. last year. Craig saying, that always worries me the time in a driver's briefing and being called to the assembly area, it's always a bit tight and then throw in scrutineering if you can't get scrutiny until Friday morning. Listen, Craig, that's to put the challenge there for you, mate. It's, uh, it's, mm-hmm. it's Krypton factor, Krypton factor for you, mate. <laughs> Um, any other, any other business? I'm done. Done. Stick a fork in you. You're done. <laughs> well, that, that, I mean, that means that we, uh, you know, we're there. Okay. We've, we've got everything previewed. We've got everything covered. We've got people commenting that are clearly looking forward to this. I don't know about you, mate, but it's, it's, uh, maybe even more exciting. It's maybe even more exciting for it, frankly. No, it'd be bigger. I can't wait. No, it is. Right. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, James, John Sandblaster Tyson says, thanks, guys, for tonight. Another great show. Good luck to Cheers. all and have safe fun. Absolutely. I agree. In Absolutely. That. Absolutely. Get yourself up to the circuit nice and safe. Uh, I cannot wait to see you guys. I cannot wait to commentate on you guys. And if I see you about, if I get the chance, because what will probably happen, so you know as well, Stuart, is that um gary and i are alternating and we've kind of got it largely that um whilst we'll both be commentating on the race i shall then be hightailing it down from the commentary box down the pit lane to park Ferme to grab interviews because i don't think they stop them underneath the commentary box anymore so we'll i'll go down there but i'm doing all the classic touring car races that i should be grabbing interviews with oh great i look my finest when i get out of a car <laughs> I won't have a camera with me, so you're all right, mate. You're safe. You're safe. It's fine. Good, it's good. well, right, the, if, the stream might do, but I'm not doing that part. I'm doing the circuit interviews uh, and what have you. So uh, I should. That's what's going to happen. So hopefully, I'll see plenty of you in Park Ferme after a fantastic race. Sophie Owen says, "Gutted, I have to work, especially as AJ is racing the Mondeo." I'm just chuffed that I get to see uh, see see you out there, AJ. And he says, "See you Friday, chaps. Thanks a lot." Stu, it's been a pleasure as always, mate. And I shall see you. uh, I'll try and catch up with you in in the morning, on on Friday morning. Uh, Oh, I love this. Just quickly, Chris Collins says, camera charged and can't wait to capture Friday's action. Fantastic grids for round one. Well done, Classic Touring Car Racing Club. I think that's a wonderful note to finish it on, isn't it, mate? Have a great one. Appreciate it. We'll see you all there. Cheers, all. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,